Custom Coin Rings USA here, and I'm back because I figure I should do a testing of the Scottsdale Silver Stacker Bar that I just got. So, this is my Sigma Metalytics tester. And this is the Bullion Wand attachment that goes with it. The Bullion Wand can actually test up to a couple millimeters deep into the metal. That way you can tell if it's just plated or not. So, let me get everything focused here for you. So here's the bar, and if you just put the wand right on top, it reads right in the middle, so that's where it should read. Anywhere on the bar that I go, it should read right in the middle. And if I even if I test on the side of the bar, all the way around top side, right side, bottom, and if I go on the underside of the bar, it should be within those brackets at all times, and it is. So we know it's a good bar. There's no point of hollowing out a silver bar. There's not enough money in it to be worth it. but. Um, if you've seen them in the news, um, I think it was about five or ten years ago, there were some gold dealers that were selling, I don't know how big the bars were, they looked like they were maybe 100 ounce gold bars, and I guess they were hollowing them out and putting tungsten inside, because tungsten is almost the same specific gravity as gold. It's, I think, even within 5% of the same specific gravity, so it's very difficult to tell, even if you're doing a water displacement test with the gold. And since testers can't test more than a couple millimeters into the metal, if you hollow out most of the bar and you just put a big chunk of tungsten in the middle, you can actually get away with, I don't know, 30, 40, 50, maybe even $100,000 per bar by hollowing out most of it. But yeah, I found that on Google not too long ago. It was amazing the lengths people will go to to try and cheat people these days. But yeah, with silver bars, you don't really have to worry about that because their price isn't high enough to where it's worth doing that. It would take more time than it's worth. But if you have any questions, um, ask questions in the comment section. I'd be happy to answer anything that you have about the Sigma Metalytics tester or any other tests that you can do to make sure that you are getting a genuine product and not getting scammed.